Let's understand the U.S. Treasury markets, which have been in turmoil over the last few weeks, over several incidents that have taken place right through February 2023 and March 2023. This is the video as a part of the sequence on fixed income securities, where we'll understand a little bit more about what is the U.S. Treasury markets. Hello everybody, I'm your learning partner Sushila Hariharan. If you're interested in a career in fund accounting, corporate actions, trade life cycle and OTC derivatives, do subscribe to my YouTube channel where I provide research rich content on these topics, enabling you to get a job in any of the global investment banks as well as the fund accounting firms. Smash the notification button so that you are notified of the smart quizzes that I upload at regular intervals on my YouTube channel. What is a bond? A bond is a contractual obligation to pay coupon, that's the technical term, or interest at periodic intervals and to repay the principal on maturity. So this is a contractual obligation between the lender and the borrower or in the case of bonds, we use the term issuer and investor. So the issuer is the borrower. They agree to pay the coupon at periodic intervals and they agree to repay the principal on maturity. The lender has lent the money for the said duration. Bond issuers could be governments, central governments, federal governments. It could be corporates, which have to be credit rated, as well as in the United States markets, municipal corporations. In this specific video, we're going to take a look only at bond issuances of the federal government of the United States. Government borrowings of the United States are classified as treasury bills, treasury notes, treasury bonds and TIPS or treasury inflation protected securities. When we use the word treasury, it means that the borrower is the federal government. So we are not discussing corporate borrowings over here. We are discussing the borrowings of the federal government. Let's take a look at each one of this. Treasury bills is also acronymed as T-bills. It's issued by the federal government. These are bills that are issued by the federal government and hence have the term treasury attached to it. These are for a short term with a minimum maturity of four weeks and a maximum maturity of 52 weeks. This implies that the federal government is borrowing through the bills market for meeting short term expenses. The treasury bills are issued at a discount to the par value and therefore they are redeemed at the par value. In the interim period of anywhere between 4 weeks to 52 weeks, there is no coupon payment made by the federal government. All the earnings of the investor are the difference between the issue price and the redemption price and hence treasury bills are also called as discount bonds or zero coupon securities. These are traded in the short term market called the money market because money market is a market where all short term securities are traded like treasury bills, certificates of deposits, commercial paper, etc. There's a separate video on that which I have to still create and upload. Okay, so treasury notes on the other hand also notified as T notes, T standing for treasury, represent the sovereign risk of the US federal government. This risk implies that in the notes market, the treasury notes are the safest because it's not expected that the government of the United States will have a zero default risk. Since there is no default risk, the credit ratings are very high and this rating is called as the sovereign risk rating or the risk of the of the risk rating of the United States government itself. The minimum tenure for the notes market is one year and the maximum tenure is 10 years. Therefore, these are having biannual coupon payments and are not discount securities like treasury bills. So treasury bills are short term, treasury notes are medium term, Treasury bills have zero coupon and treasury notes have biannual coupon payments. They are also traded in the money markets. 
These could also be traded in the capital markets or the bond markets. Remember, money markets, bond markets are all OTC markets. So it's just a question of terminology as to where it is traded. Treasury bonds, also called as T-bonds, or in the case of the Indian markets, it's called as GSEC, G standing for government and SEC standing for security, has a maximum tenure of 30 years in the United States markets. These also have biannual coupon payments, also called as semi-annual coupon payments, and this represents the risk of the markets. Bond market is perhaps the most likely indicator of expectations of investors of interest rate hikes or interest rate decreases, quantitative easing or quantitative tightening in the US markets. Therefore, yields in the bond markets are watched with a great deal of accuracy and scrutiny because of the way it represents what is the expectation of the investors with respect to interest rates. This is traded in the bond market, also called as the the bond market of the capital market segment. And then we move on to Treasury inflated Inflation Protection Protected Securities, TIPS. These are issued by the federal government. Treasury Inflation Protected Securities protect the investor from increased inflation. So as inflation increases, the earnings of the investor get reduced, right? The earnings, the, no, the nominal rate remains the same, the real returns get reduced. There has to be a way in which the investor is compensated for that and therefore the principal amount is readjusted along with the CPI numbers that are announced as part of the weekly or fortnightly announcements made by the Federal Reserve. TIPS securities are also long term in nature and are traded in the capital markets. The Treasury market, therefore, has these four essential features. Federal borrowing of the United States government. These are bills which are short-term in nature. It comprises notes which are medium-term in nature and bonds which are long-term in nature. Keep learning and keep growing with me, Sushila Hariharan. Thank you so much for listening in.